Well, we don't have to make any kind of exceptions for uh, filming at home today. Just, uh, you know, day, week number two of the quarantine. Hopefully all of you in the Twin Cities, Ace Nation are doing fantastic. Uh, it's, uh, it's a thrill to be connecting with so many of you over the social platforms. Um, if you've been uh, under a rock for a while, just check Facebook. We are pushing it hard. We've been doing dates online, doing some classes online. We're going to do some fitness stuff online next uh, next week. So it's very exciting. <clears throat> Torah portion this week, beginning a new, actually, first of all, Chodesh Tov to everybody. We had uh, the beginning of the month of Nisan this past week, and uh, that is the month of Passover. It's coming. So I think next week uh, we will transition to doing some Pesach uh, Devar Divrei Torah, but uh, for now, we're starting the book of Leviticus, Vaikra, and it's a book of sacrifices. Now, you think, don't talk to me about sacrifices, buddy. I know about that. Maybe you do. But the piece that I wanted to suggest is the famous verse that Vaikra starts with a small olive, sorry, ends, the first word of the book of Vaikra ends with a small olive, very small. And uh, the Rashi explains famously that God called, spoke to Moses, and Moses was uncomfortable recording the level of communication he had with God because of his great humility. So maybe you would say, we knew that, that would happen, whatever it might be, but suffice to say that leadership requires humility. And humility means the appreciation that your way, your view is not the only view, and you have to take other people's perspectives carefully into account. And one of the amazing opportunities that the coronavirus has presented us with is that we spend a lot of time with our family and we spend a lot of time with our family. And, you know, it's very easy for us to go out there in the world, but when we come home and we spend time with ourselves and with the family, oftentimes it's a challenge. And one of the great authors of ethical works for, Jew for the Jewish people speaks about how the home is actually a place where you study patience and you study humility. So while we might feel like, when are we ever going to get out of our homes? We are currently under the greatest opportunity. We have the greatest opportunity to present true leadership, true servant leadership like Moses did. Not when we're leading our companies or leading our exercise classes, um, but, but leading our families. And that goes for every part because even the kids can lead their families if they have leadership tendencies, if they're humble, they're open, obedient, yeah, and uh, all the more so with the parents. So I want to wish you a wonderful Shabbat, and I want to wish you a tremendous uh, month of Nisan, the month of uh, redemption, uh, and the month of Pesach, and I also want to wish you that you truly appreciate and enjoy, enjoy the opportunity to practice humility and patience with your family, because that, after all, is the greatest sign of leadership and the greatest part about being Jewish.